Hello, John Bloodworth, Gentleman Crafter, here again with part four of this digitising mini-series. In the previous video I've digitised the background and also one of the needles. In this video I'm going to show you how I created the other two needles. And just a reminder, I am of course using the Hatch Embroidery software, so if you'd like to find out more about that or download a free trial copy, please visit hatchembroidery.com. Okay, so copying, pasting, aligning and spacing are the key tools in this one. With my current needle selected, I use the copy and paste to make a second one. That will position it directly on top of the last one. So I move it to the right, hold down my shift key and click and drag one of the corners to resize it. And the software is then um, using its knowledge to resize everything to do with the stitching. Now I did undo it and then use the automatic decrease by 10% feature within the software and that actually got me to where I needed a lot quicker. I then just moved it over using just a visual hint of the artwork. I'm not looking for super precise, I just want it to be in the rough main region of where I'd planned it to be. Again, copy and paste for the third needle move that over to the left so click and drag like you would in any other design software and then I've selected all three and used the align and space feature to line them up and the context menu obviously like any other software is available through the right click menu So I wasn't happy with the order because it would go from left to right then back to the middle. So I'm just juggling them around in the sequence tab. And that's fairly easy to do. You just select one and then use the arrows at the bottom of the screen to move it around. So I'm just going to unhide everything that I've previously hidden to see how things are developing. And I think they're coming along quite nicely. So in the next video we're going to take a look at the banners. That's it for this time. If you've enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. And for more from me in the future, please remember to subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.